Some of the good people of both races who live under the protection of the United States may not be satisfied with the decision of the Supreme Court. The law is there to uphold the human principle, that there is equal justice because we feel it in our hearts, that this is the law of our hearts. And I think all of us now are very sober in realizing that unless we integrate, we shall very quickly disintegrate. Now therefore I, George C. Wallace, as governor of the state of Alabama, do hereby denounce and forbid this illegal and unwarranted action by the central government. The President of the United States and the Attorney General have encouraged demonstration. To be given the rights of a human being? I think you're not going to ever eat here now. Do you want to close the business? Is that what you want to do? You can't eat here. If an American, because his skin is dark, cannot eat lunch in a restaurant open to the public, if he cannot vote for the public officials who represent him, if in short he cannot enjoy the full and free life which all of us want, then who among us would be content to have the color of his skin changed and stand in his place? What is on TV? Right. What is on TV? What the world is seen is? We will march in Washington on August 28, 1963, along with hundreds of thousands of our fellow Americans who believe in equal opportunity and freedom for us all. Now, we don't have any Rockefellers in our midst. We don't have any Henry Fords. But we do have a king. We've got Martin Luther King. And I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Seventeen out of fifty states allow for gay couples to marry legally, and Michigan is not one of them. Why is this such an important topic these days? This country has been fighting for equal rights for many years. African Americans have suffered in the cotton fields, and white men forced them to work for their lives. They wouldn't even get paid. But now people think that everything is over with, and everyone has equal rights, but there are people that are out there who can't marry whoever they want. Why do so many people think it is wrong to set, marry someone you love? What is, well, well, it is still okay to love whoever you want. And you can spend your life with them, but why is it important to be legally married to them? Well, getting married gives a lot of different benefits. These benefits include death, in inheritance, insurance, parenting and many more. This is what gays fight for. To be able to get these benefits legally, you know, like if a gay's partner dies so they can inherit and like, or if they're in the hospital, they can make decisions for them. Mm -hmm. What's the reasoning behind people who are against gay marriage? Um, why do they care if someone is gay or uh, is going to get married? That's a good question. Most anti-gay individuals don't necessarily care that a per person over there is gay or a couple over there is getting these marriage benefits. What they do care about is that once they do get these marriage benefits, they're going to be able to adopt kids and they feel that those kids are going to turn gay themselves. And more and more people are going to become gay and it's going to be a normal thing. They, This is what they're afraid of. They can't Deep inside, they can't accept the fact that gay is going to be normal. The 2013 polls show that 51% of people support gay rights, but out of that, only 43% morally think that gay sex is fine. This shows that almost a tenth of Americans who are okay with gay marriage are not actually okay with gays completely. What about religious views? Statistics show an increase of acceptance rate between the different religious groups. Religion, religious beliefs are no longer a good claim for the opposing side because soon enough, 
it it will have almost no impact on this topic. I was a uh, a very precocious kid, so one day I ended up looking up the word homosexual in the dictionary, something along the lines of a romantic attraction between members of the same sex, and it slowly dawned on me that that's what I was. So given your prior testimony about homosexuals, how did you feel when you realized that you were gay? Well, once I realized what a homosexual was, I, I was scared by that. I realized that this was bad news for me, so I, I hid it as far away from everyone as I could. And around this time, did you talk to anyone about being gay? When I was in the seventh grade, I remember being taunted about being gay. I was called faggot, I was called a homo, a queer. It was scary going into that building, realizing these kids were taunting me with a word that was so close to the truth. I, I would go home crying. Did your parents ever find out that you were gay? When I was 13 years old, my parents discovered my journal, and for the first time I had admitted to myself that I was gay, and I had actually written those words, and they found that and read it. And what happened when they read that journal? They were very upset. They were yelling. I remember my mother looking at me and telling me that I was going to burn in hell. It, it was shocking. I had, uh, I had never heard anything like that from my mother. I mean, you don't get much worse than eternal damnation. And what is NARTH? NARTH stands for the National Association for Reparative Therapy of Homosexuality. It's a reversal therapy or organization based in Encino, California. Mm -hmm. And how long were you at NARTH? From what ages? 14 to 16. And during the time that you were at NARTH, how was your home life? Um, my, uh, my mother would tell me that she hated me. Once she told me that she wished she had had an abortion instead of a gay son. Uh, she told me that she'd wish I had been born, born with Down syndrome or that I had been mentally retarded. Who did you meet with at North? I met with Dr. Joseph Nikolowski. Where would you meet with Mr. Nikolowski? I, I did actually fly out to California to do in-person sessions. I recall Nikolowski saying that you know, homosexuality is incompatible with what God wants for you and, and your parents want you to change and that this was a bad thing. And were you given any advice on how you would be able to suppress your homosexuality in these therapy sessions? I remember it was a general admonishment but not a specific technique, no. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Cooper, you may cross-examine. Mr. Kendall, have you ever lived in the state of California? No, I have not. You've never read a scientific study addressing the concept of sexual orientation, isn't that true? That is true. And isn't it also true that you have never studied whether a person's sexual orientation can change throughout the course of his or her lifetime? No, I, I haven't studied it. And nothing involved in this conversion therapy was your decision. It was all your parents' decision, isn't that true? Yes. And at some point, you communicated to your parents your objections to the counseling treatment, but your parents compelled you to go against your will. That is correct. Your only goal for conversion therapy was to survive the experience. Isn't that true? Absolutely true. You didn't have the goal of changing your sexual orientation. I'm sorry, correction. You didn't have the goal of changing your sexual attraction. Is that correct? That's correct. Indeed, you admit that you did not truly want to reduce your sexual attraction to persons of the same sex. Isn't that true? That's correct. It's my experience that people don't want to go to programs like NARTH. Well, <laughs> you acknowledged in your deposition, did you not, that some people report to have effective results with this conversion therapy. Isn't that true? Yes. I have no further questions, Your Honor. And was this therapy successful in that you were able to suppress your homosexuality? Nope, I was just as gay as when I started. <laughs> While you were in conversion therapy, were you introduced to any people who purported or were purported to you to have successfully undergone conversion therapy? I remember during one of the group therapy sessions, Nikoloski trotted out his perfect patient, the, the guy who had been cured of his homosexuality, and, and his name was Kelly. And did meeting Kelly have any impact on your views of conversion therapy? I remember once when Nikoloski stepped out of the room, we were talking amongst ourselves, and Kelly told me that later that night he was going to a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> and
and that he was just pretending to be cured for the sake of his family. And why did you stop going to reversal therapy? During this whole thing, my life had kind of fallen apart. I didn't have the world that I grew up in. My faith, which was very important to me, my family, which was even more important to me. Everything had just kind of stopped, and I just couldn't take anymore. And I realized at one point that if I didn't stop going, I, I wasn't going to survive. What did you mean by that? Um, I, would have, I would have probably killed myself. So what can we do to lift this ban on gay marriage in Michigan? Well, we have to think of who has the control over this ban. It's the government, the courts. They are able to lift the ban. But, since we live in a de democracy, people have the power. So there are two ways to lift it. The government can lift it, or the people can make the government lift it. Three states have already legalized same-sex marriage by vote. These states are Maine, Miss Maryland, and Washington. To get people in Michigan to vote off the same-sex ban, we must first advertise the different groups that fight for same-sex marriage rights. We have to show people how important this topic is. People don't really understand that so many people, hundreds, thousands of people in Michigan are not getting the rights they deserve after marriage. Once we get enough people to understand this problem, they can help us act on it. So, how can we lift the gay marriage ban in a legal sense? Well, in six states, uh, gay marriage has been legal through a court decision. Uh, Cal the California Supreme Court struck down the state's ban on same-sex marriage in uh, May of 2008, ruling that the state's constitution gives them a this basic civil right to uh, to marry marry to all Californians, whether gay or heterosexual, and same-sex couples as well as opposite-sex couples. Another instance in uh, June of 28, 2013. Uh, in the Supreme Court, three judges on the appeal on the appeals court made it possible for local governments to issue marriage certificates for gay and lesbian couples with just a few words, quote unquote, the state in the above matter is dissolved effective immediately. And to this day, gay couples can get married in California. Another way we can uplift uh, the ban on gay marriage legally is by the state legislature. State legislatures have been deeply involved in public debates about how to define marriage and whether the official recognition of marriage should be extended to same-sex couples. 17 states, and, 17 states and the District Court of Columbia uh, currently have laws that allow same-sex same -sex marriages. In recent developments, federal judges in Utah, Oklahoma, Virginia, and Texas have ruled their state constitutional bans on same-sex marriage unconstitutional. The rulings have been put on hold on pending the, the rulings have been put on hold pending appeal. Just recently in Michigan, we had a court decision that lifted the ban on same-sex marriage. In Ingham County, for the first time, 300 couples got married in one weekend. Only a week later did the, the, the state decide to put that on ban on hold, and a week later after that, Governor Schneider uh, announced that everyone that got married no longer has those privileges that they did the week before. So he basically uh, said that everyone who got married on that weekend no longer is, is no longer considered married by the state. This is the first time our state has done this, and it sounds like we are making some progress. 
this is well made the public realize that we have a problem going on over here and hopefully more people will contribute to the votes uh, soon maybe perhaps this year and hopefully the same-sex marriage will be uplifted in Michigan.